unrelenting night. Oh. Hello, my name is Fergus. I go by Fergus2k. I'm from Ireland. I'm a double second World Tour finalist, and here I will show you how to play Eliza. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out the website for all things FGC. I'll feed on you nice and slow later. So let's talk about Eliza's neutral game. Now I'm not going to go over all of her moves, but we're going to go over the important moves. So let's start with her jobs. Now her job is pretty notorious because she's a 2D character. So her jobs have less recovery and whiff. So they are very, very difficult to whip punish. Even if the opponent's ready, it can still be very difficult to whip punish. So what does she have off her job? So her job is very standard, apart from the recovery. So it's plus one on block, plus eight on hit. So it's pretty standard for her job. It has pretty good reach as well. And also if you get one, one, it's a natural combo counter. So you can imagine this is really scary near the wall. So 1-1 one, one into EX Slash into the full combo, for example. So her job is very, very, very important. And she has a bunch of follow-ups after her job. So she has 1-2, which is typical. She has 1-2-4, which is a counter at launcher. And she has 1-2-3, which is a normal hit mid launcher. So if your opponent likes to duck the 4, you can go for the mid sometimes. Just be careful because the mid is launch. But you can sneak in sometimes when you think they're going to press after the 1-2. The or you can do 1-1 one, on one block and then do stuff like slash on block. Which is a counter launcher by itself. If they decide to mash. So the whole thing about Eliza is like cancelling into things to try and throw off your opponent's attack timings. So let's talk about her downforce one. Her downforce one is okay. It tracks well to one way. And both of the, fo both of the follow ups are natural combos. So the 1-4 which is a natural hit high, or downward one two, which is a natural uh, string into the mid, and then mid itself gives a 4-4-2 follow-up, which is pretty beefy. It is unsafe, but it's only minus 12, and it gives the pretty beefy follow-up, while the high is AP in Duckish, so it's pretty standard. The next move I want to talk about is her magic four. Her magic four is real strong because it's homing, it's 13 frames, it knocks down a normal hit, and on Kendrish, it's a full combo on counter hit. So if you think your phone's gonna stack, you only abuse a magic four a lot. Or if you think they're gonna approach you, or if you think they're gonna overextend under pressure, or challenge your pressure at the wrong times, you can do magic four as well as a counter frame trap. So let's talk about four for two. 442 is good because it's safe on block. It walls flats. And in the open, it gives a combo. However, remember to hold back because if you don't, Eliza will fall asleep afterwards. So you have to make sure you have to hold back so you can go back into neutral. Another string I'll talk about is back 2 3. Back 2 3 is a length frame high. Natural to second hit, which is a mid, and it's a knee as well, so it's handy for those kind of reversals. The second hit by itself is a counter at launcher, so it's a really good string to use in channel. It's pretty abusable, like it's natural, it's safe, it's safe on block as you can see, minus nine, and second it's a counter at launcher, and you can slightly delay as well, so it's a really strong move to throw in sometimes. Another move is 4442. 4442 is a normal hit launcher. If you cancel into the light fireball. So if you cancel into the light fireball, you get a mirrorless combo. However, the opponent can interrupt this on block, but what you can do is you can do 4-4-2 into the X fireball, which also gets you a combo. And if they press some block that isn't an armor, they will lose to the X fireball. So what you should be doing though is you should be doing this on hit so you should be confirming it on hit to go into the light fireball and on block you should do it into the X fireball or do nothing so if you try to punish the move you can trick them with the X fireball to throw off their punish another move I want to talk about is 4434 and 4433 now 443 by itself is a homing move right it's a it's an unsafe high by itself, but remember it does have extension, so it's a homing. So it has really good range as you can see. Now let's talk about the follow-up. So the one of the follow-ups is 4444, 4, 4, 4, 
which is a normal hit uh, launcher. So it's a homing launcher that has a normal hit extension that launches. So if your opponent's looking to duck this, sometimes you can do um, 4 4 4 3 3, which is a mid option. And if you connect the whole thing, or both hits, you can get a launcher with the X crew, or you can get a midi mirrorless combo with 4 3 into DP. So that's also another good move. While standing 2 is also really good. So while standing 2 gives you a free uh, heavy dive kick. If you don't have the executions to do that, then I recommend doing Dan 4 afterwards or something like this. And if if you have meter, you can actually launch off it with the Tiger and EDX dive kick if you have the execution, which is worth learning how to do because it gives you a full combo or something that's a safe normal hit launcher. And on counter hit, she gets a full combo, so you don't need spent bar to get that combo. So let's talk about her lows now. We know we didn't mention her lows yet, so let's talk about her lows. So Dan 4 is one of her main lows. However, it is launch on block, so be careful with it. But it's nice because it has decent tracking, decent range. It's pretty plus on hit, so it's plus five on hit. So if you think they're gonna mash afterwards, you can do well standing too to check them. So this is a pretty common check. So if they mash anything that isn't like armored, they will lose to the well standing too. And um, Dan 4 is also a counter launcher. So that's pretty nice to have as well. So use it sparingly, use a good timing to catch your opponent and then get a counter launcher out of it. Now let's talk about her Dan 3. Her Dan 3 is going to be your main low poke. Now why it's good is because it's actually special cancelable. So you can actually cancel it into all of her specials. So the fireballs, the slashes and the die kicks. So this move, especially at the wall, becomes really scary because if you're in clean hit range, she can combo into her heavy DP and she can combo into her EX Slash. The fact that down 3 combos into the EX Slash means that she has an unseeable low wall splat if she has one bar. However, it is minus 13 on block, so be a bit careful, but if you mix up your opponent well, this will be become a normal hit launcher, a normal hit wall splat from a low starter. And in mid screen, you can do down 3 into DP2, which gives you a clean hit, and it lets you combo into the DP. Otherwise, you can kind of harass them with the low, so if you think they're gonna punish the low by itself, because it is minus 16 by itself, this is when you can start cancelling into her other stuff. So you can cancel into her fireballs, you can cancel into her slash, so if they try to punish down 3 by itself, they will get counter hit by the special follow up. So that's the whole mind game behind the special councils. Like, you want to scare them into punishing this or challenging against it in case she does the special council follow up. Whether it's a slash, where it's a fireball, where it's a dive kick. So you have to, so you you have to mix them up well. Now let's talk about her moon glide very quickly. So moon glide one is a high, with very delayable follow up. So as you can see, it's very delayable. And if the second it connects on counter hit. The third hit's natural combo, and you can do dash EX die kick for a launcher if you want to. And another option you have is um, Moon Glide 1 4, which is only minus 11. It's natural combo, a normal hit, and the wall splats. Now let's talk about her Moon Glide 2. So Moon Glide 2 is basically just 4 4 2 out of the stance. So you can use that to like kind of just approach your opponent with and then hit them from range. The other option you have is Moon Glide 4 which is a low launcher with meter, so you can just do die kick, you don't need to do, um, EX, you don't need to do uh, tag any version, you can just do EX die kick, and that's guaranteed and picks them up. Otherwise, you can do cross back 2, or you can do tag any die kick and then chase them then. So those are your options of the Moon Glide 4. So if you if you want to make a big comeback with Liza, this this is one of the lows you're going to go for. Just just be careful, because obviously it is launch mode for one block. So just time it well, use it well, and you can use it sparingly to um, get a combo off your opponent. So that about covers most of our important tools in neutral. Those are like definitely the, the, the important moves. So let's talk about her dive kicks in the next section, which is like key cornerstone to Eliza. In this section, I want to talk about her dive kicks, which is like very, very important for Eliza gameplay. So she has three dive kicks. So she has, if you do dive kick four, she does one that's plus on block. So it depends how you how low you hit the die kick. So from here it can be plus three, but from here out it can be um, 
and make the opponent's guard all. So, for example, from here, it can be plus four, right? So it depends where you hit the die kick. So up here, it's going to be minus, right? From here, it's going to be plus one, okay? So it depends on the angle that you hit the die kick at. But if you do something called the tiger knee die kick, which is done by course go back, up, back, up, up, forward, and then four. So if you do that successfully, you'll get instant die kick. Also called Tiger Knee Die Kick, which makes her do the die kick really low to the ground without having you, you have to go jump really far. You can do it very close to the ground. And if you do this, this gives, this gives her a better frame advantage. And this is very, very important to be able to do because it makes her wall game so much scarier, for example. So let's go to the wall. So let's say you just hit this, right? So you're not going to get the job from here, right? So so if you just do die kick from up here, you're not going to get the job because you're only plus nine, right? But if you do the instant tiger knee die kick, you can be even be up to plus 13, for example. So this will change the fact that you don't need to spend a bar to get a wall spot because you will combo into the magic four. And that's because you hit the die kick so low that um, it will combo like that. Now, why this is important is because so you want to mix that die kick up with her down three. So remember we mentioned her down three. So her down three gives a EX slash at the wall as a low starter. But if you mix up, if you use the mid die kick, which is a true mid, you can use this to mix them up. So you can dash up and then do the tag knee die kick, jab EX wall splat, and then you get a big beefy combo and then pressure afterwards, right? So that's going to be your main mix up at the wall between the die kick, the instant mid die kick, or the down three EX slash. Now let's talk about her other die kick. So in general, that die kick is just very important in pressure. So it's plus some block. You can keep up your pressure afterwards. You know, the mix, use it well, mix up well. It's going to be your main mix up tool. Now the other die kick that she has is the heavy die kick. Now, now this is unsafe at most ranges. It's very unsafe if you just, if you just throw that. For example, like from here, it's going to be unsafe, right? So what you, need, what you can do is you can tiger knee die kick to make it safer obviously so it can be um even as much as du, 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 du. it can even be as minus nine feet space it well and then do the instant version of it so why you want why would you want to use this move though in comparison to the other die kick right it's unsafe on block it's minus why would you use it you use it because it's a counter at launcher so this is why you would you, you would want to use the move, and also because Eliza's now she because she's a two D character, she has a jump back mechanic. She has a jump mechanic in general, but the main one you want to use is the jump back. Why you want to use the jump back is because if your opponent uses that low or even some mids and highs, her jump back will make it with. Now her back dash isn't the best. Like her back dash is pretty bad, but she makes up for that with her unique movement, which is the jump back. Now, if you jump back, see that your opponent whips something, because it probably whips because of the jump itself, you can punt, you can react and then do the die kick and push while you're in the air and then whip punish it. Kind of whip punish it. Now, that's one option you have. You can do that. Now, if you have a bar, you can jump back, see something that whiffed, and then do the X die kick, and then you get a full combo off it. So as you can see, Eliza's jump back it is, it must be utilized really well, and her die kicks on top of that as well. Oh, if you combine all these tactics together, uh, along with her poking and her special cancels, Eliza can be very frustrating to play against. She can be, be played very rushed down heavy, you know, you, you saw the wall game, the down 3 EX slash, and the mid mix up. So as you can see, her wall game can be really scary, but you can also play her very dry, very defensively. Especially on infinite stage, Kira Kira. If you ever watch this guy play Eliza, you can see he loves infinite stage for this reason because he's very good at just building meter, letting the opponent hang themselves, and then jumping back, see something with punish with the die kick, and then go back. Because the jump back is actually quite difficult to deal with for a lot of characters. So yeah, that kind of covers the die kick in a nutshell. Use them well, and then you'd be playing Eliza very successfully.
So the general gameplay strengths and weaknesses of Eliza would be, for example, her wall game, as I explained earlier, is extremely strong with the mid dive kick mix up and the low mid mix up. So her wall game is like one of the better ones in the game because she is just so constantly plus, especially if you can tiger need the dive kick. So that's definitely one aspect that she's really strong at. Another aspect is his punishment is good. The fact that she can do 31 damage off her jab or even a EX wall splat if you have meter. And then th that she can punish lows like minus 11, minus, minus 10, 11, and 12 lows with dick jab into the, the DP. So her punishment game is really good. For She has a 14 frame while standing launcher. So her damage is quite high on her punishment. Her combo damage and her wall carry is super good. The only thing that kind of falls behind with Eliza is the fact that her lows are not that great. So like Den 3 isn't that amazing. It only does seven damage. It is launch punch for unblock. Which means it, it forces you to use the special cancels to like kind of throw off the opponent from punishing it, which then leads into her being punished. So it's not amazing, but it's okay. Like it's okay. Her den four, while it's decent damage, it's good frames and it's counter at launcher. It is launch on block, so it's a bit risky to kind of rely on these lows alone because this can get low parry. They can get combos quite heavily for it for the risk reward that you get. So her weakness is definitely would be lows would be one thing, and that's kind of a big thing. But other than that, I think she's actually a quite a strong character. Because like I said, punishment is good, her mix-up game is strong, her combos are extremely, extremely good. Her keep away game, like her jump back, making stuff with and then allowing her to punish them with the dive kick is also really good if you want to play like more like dry defensive kind of style, which kind of complements her punishment. So yeah, overall. I think she's a good character, just lows kind of hold her back a little bit, but it's not that big of an issue when you can work around it. You can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts, and thank you for watching. I could use a drink.